Okay, let's talk about Quench, right? What the heck even is that? Well, I'm gonna tell ya. Alright, I think we've all heard of Quench, or Squish, some call it too. But maybe you don't really know what it is. All it is, is the flat part of your piston, and the flat part of your cylinder head, and the space in between. See so this flat spot right here, and this flat spot right over here, the space that's in between this piston head and that spot is your quench. The tighter you get that, the more air fuel mixture gets squished out of that area and into this combustion chamber. Essentially, you're reducing the amount of area inside your chamber. So, you're squishing all of that air fuel mixture right in here where the spark plug is, allowing the spark plug to ignite the whole mixture quicker because the flame does not have to travel all the way over here. See? It's a more violent explosion because there's a denser charge right in here. Now there's a few benefits to that. For one thing, the you know more violent explosion pushes the piston harder, right? So you get a little more torque that way, a little more power. But other reasons why it's good, you don't have to run quite as much advance because you run advance so the flame can you know have time to travel. Well, if you reduce the amount of travel the flame needs to do, you don't need as much advance to do it. Another thing, you're reducing the amount of area inside that chamber, so detonation is a little less common, because there's less room for detonation to really happen, right? Detonation usually happens, the spark plug over here, and then a little patch over here somewhere is going to detonate too, detonation. Two spots igniting at the same time. Well, if you reduce the amount of area there is, less of a factor. Now, in an ideal situation, you'd realistically have the piston coming up and just kissing the, the head, right? I mean, you would have zero room in between there in an ideal situation. But there's reasons you can't do that. Expansion. See, different materials expand at different rates. and Different thicknesses expand at different rates, too. Because in a running engine, the top of your piston is expanding, the head is expanding a little bit, your rod is expanding, everything moves. I mean, really, the reason you need room in between the two is because you got to give a margin of error for, you know, different expansion rates. And also, the piston is not completely flat up and down. The piston can rock a little bit inside the cylinder walls, right? Because, you know, it's not perfectly tight in there. And some pistons are looser than others. Forged piston, pretty loose, right? Because forged material expands, you know, greater than like a hyper eutectic piston would. So you also have to have a margin for that rocking. You know, a margin of error for that piston rocking up here. So that's kind of the reasons why you can't have an ideal situation. So the only other better situation you can have is to make sure you have as large of a quench area as possible. I mean, really, if all this was gone, all you had was just the valves and the spark plug and the rest was just quench area, that'd be an ideal situation. And you know, that's kind of why not all compression ratios are equal. If you have high compression because you have a flat top piston and you have a large quench and a relatively tight squeeze, that's an ideal situation. If you have a big dome piston that's just occupying all this dead space, that's not an ideal situation because the quench is redirecting all of it into a concentrated area to then explode. A big dome is just filling this gap. That's not directing anything anywhere. The flame is still trying to, and then it has to try to travel over the dome. And really the dome is in the way of the flame front, not helping concentrate it. 
So high compression with a big dome is a lot, you know, more finicky than high compression with a good quench pad. Like this example right here, if you were going to have high compression with a chamber like that, not that great of an idea. <sighs> Darn it, V2 heads, yet another reason why you're probably not the best. My nice aluminum AFRs, though, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that's just a little bit of uh, knowledge on quench and really what it's all about. So, uh, you know, that's it for now, and I'll catch you next time. Now I gotta try to get up off the floor. Oh, my back. <laughs>